Hey guys, so for this week's video, I thought that I would film a vegan grocery haul to show you all the food that I usually buy in a week, how much it costs and how I plan on eating it. Um, I think this will be helpful if you're at university and you want to kind of budget your meals or if you are on a budget and you can kind of adapt this to your lifestyle, depending what you buy, what you like, what you plan on eating that week. Some of the items that I bought are bulk items. Um, so these obviously aren't bought every week, but I did need to stock up so I will let you know in the video How long each item usually lasts in my household all of this food is for me um, I currently do live at home, but I thought that it would be best to show just how much produce I eat rather than everyone else in my house I am the only person on a vegan lifestyle in my house However, my sister is vegetarian so we do share meals sometimes but all this food is purely how much food I will eat in a week. Just a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by any of the shops, of course. I wish I was. I wish people gave me free food, but this is all bought with my own money. I will give a full pricing at the end for how much my weekly produce costs and how much the other bulk items cost. All of the produce in this video is either from a farmer's market, a local vegetable shop, or from either Asda or Tesco. They're the one, the supermarkets that I like buying from the most. I think they have the best prices and the best produce in general, and they're just the ones that uh, I find easier to shop at. Let's get started on the video, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> that I headed to was a local farm shop which was just really close to my house. Here they have locally grown food that they get transported from just around the area and in different parts of Cornwall. I picked up as you can see there's some huge garlic cloves and also I was looking for some carrots. Uh, I only got about four because that's how many I would usually eat in a week. There's me trying to deliberate how many I should buy. And the thing I really like about this place is all of their produce is kind of misshaped. So it's not the stuff that you'd usually see in the supermarket, but it makes it really authentic. And you can see that they don't throw any produce away if it's misshaped or miscoloured. And they're just a really nice people in there. It's a nice atmosphere where you can get your local food. off of the produce I buy on a weekly basis. These are my dairy alternatives. The pure sunflower spread you can see there was one pound from Asda. The Alpro plain yogurt was also a pound and these almond breeze almond milks. I prefer the unsweetened. These were the brand that was on sale. Usually I get either these or Alpro. These were also a pound each from Asda and the rice stream chocolate was only 50p. So this is a usually how much I get on the weekly basis. Sometimes I use two almond milks, sometimes I use three depending what I am making that week. Now moving on to frozen foods. I like to buy my fruit frozen, uh, especially in winter as raspberries fresh are very expensive. This pack of raspberries frozen was two pounds and this will probably last me about two weeks, maybe a bit longer. This mince with soy was 150 from Tesco and that will probably last me about a week. The frozen sweet corn was 99p for that pack and my garden peas was 70p. These obviously will last me more than a week, probably two to three, even up to a month, um, depending how much I eat them. I don't usually eat peas that much, I love sweet corn. So these aren't a weekly basis, these frozen foods, but they're so cheap that you probably could buy them on a weekly basis if you really needed to. So next is my fresh produce. The carrots, as you saw earlier, are from the organic shop. They cost me 80p. Those two big sweet potatoes cost a total of 124. Those smaller potatoes were 138. I usually get the red ones, but they didn't have any loose. The red onions 
were 36p for those three. Um, the two avocados I got from a fruit and veg shop, they were 99p each. All of those bananas cost me a total of £1.05. The lemons were about 30p each and the garlic cloves were 35p each. As you can see, most of this produce is packaging free. I really am trying to stay away from plastic and buy as much as I can without plastic. However, some of the things that I found in the supermarket only had plastic, such as these tomatoes. As you can see, they're 79p and they just didn't sell any cherry tomatoes loose. I need to find a fruit and veg place that does it. Unfortunately, I went to the fruit and veg after this. Same with the mushrooms. I just need a bag that I can put them in. These ones are organic and they cost me one pound, but I just didn't have any bags to put them in and I didn't want them to get lost in my bag. These grapes cost me one pound 20. All of this fruit and veg will last me about a week. I've also got some frozen bananas in my freezer, which I can use. This organic spinach was one pound 50 from Tesco, which is a bit pricey, but it is organic and I do try to buy organic as much as possible. I also bought some fresh coriander, which was 95p. Unfortunately, I haven't found anywhere yet that sells this package free, but I do need to keep looking and go to as many farmers markets as possible because I hate the plastic wrapping. This sourdough bread I got from the farm shop, as you saw earlier. It was £1.80, but it is a huge piece of bread. You can see that a comparison of my hand. Unfortunately, all the other bread products I bought are in packaging, which was really disappointing. But I got some wholemeal tortillas. These were 92p for eight. And I love using these for wraps and making into tortilla chips for nachos. I also got some rice noodles. This was a pound for a packet and I probably only eat noodles about twice a week so this is how many I would eat in a week. You can just put them in the microwave or you can heat them up with hot water, whatever works best for you and they're really really tasty. I also got some wholemeal pita breads. I love having these with hummus. I love stuffing them with vegetables uh, and these were 44p I believe um, which is a really good price really cheap but I do wish I could find some without packaging I would like to try and make my own in the future if I have some time so that will be make sure they're packaged free next up is the canned beans and tomatoes I got so these chickpeas were 52p per can the kidney beans were 30p per can and the chopped tomatoes were 31p per can and I use about this much in a week. So on to the bulk items that I purchased today. This is a whole 3 kilogram pack of whole wheat penne pasta. This will probably last me 2 to 3 months um, depending how many times I eat pasta a week and it only cost me 2 87 so I thought that was a really good deal. I also then got some basmati brown rice, this is a kilogram, this probably will last me about a month, maybe a bit less, and this one cost me 176. I got a kilogram of porridge oat, and this cost me 75p. This will probably last me three to four weeks, um, depending how much I have porridge. I also got a 48 pack of Weetabix, I love Weetabix, I have it almost every day. Um, so this will last me probably about a month as well. Um, then also from the health food shop that I go to, but you can also buy this online, I got a whole kilogram of Meridian peanut butter. This honestly has lasted me about six months uh, and I still have loads left. So this is a really good investment if you are looking at buying bulk peanut butter. This only cost me five pounds, so it was definitely worth the money. I love this one because it is 100% peanuts. There's no palm oil. It's really tasty and it is very good price. Now this is the vegan cheese I get, it's from a brand called Vegusto, uh, I don't get this often and this will last up to two weeks, each of these packs once you've opened them, um, though I do not use them every two weeks, I probably get one of these monthly, I order them online at vegusto.co.uk which I'll link below, um, they grate really well, they melt really well, they've got a really nice strong cheese flavour, I get the flavour Pequant which is just really tasty and I really recommend them if you're looking for a cheese substitute. As you can see this week's produce came to £22.64, I usually spend between £20 and £25 a week. My bulk pro produce came to £25.06 which will last me more than a week and probably a month or over. 
So that's all the food that I buy in a week on a vegan lifestyle. As you can see, it isn't that expensive. In my opinion, some people may think that this is so much to spend on food and some may people may think that that's hardly anything at all, but this is what works for me with my budget and I think it's quite reasonably priced. So be sure to give me some feedback down below. Um, if you've got any more questions, please leave them in the comments. Also, if anyone is interested in having some more beauty style videos, um, more lifestyle videos, I am thinking of filming a makeup routine or kind of cruelty-free vegan beauty products video. I do have a post on my blog, but I think it'd be quite beneficial to actually show them on camera as they do come across different in photographs sometimes. So if that's something you'd be interested in, please let me know down below or over on any of my social media accounts, which will be linked in the down bar. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.